Okay, let's get on with this. Today's videos will probably be a little bit short, but you know what? Screw it. Better than nothing, hmm. right? Which trick should I use? Balls and cops. That sounded wrong. Uh, the locked room. This one. I don't think that really applies here. Okay. Never mind then. Not that one. No. This one. That trick doesn't fit the situation. Okay. I'm sorry. This one? That trick. The phone's the phone one. <laughs> Probably. I don't think that Okay. Huh. I like that one. God damn it. Uh this one? That trick. Nah, not that one. It's probably the ones I've skipped. Huh. I can't flip the switch. I mean, the, the page. Aha! Cups and balls! I'm trying to press it. Okay. Hey, do you like to gamble? I know a really cool game that uses cups and a ball. Just like these. I'm busy. <laughs> it will only take a minute. Better than Vegas. What's the game? Cups and balls. I'll show you. Okay, we, do we get we to do it? We need three cups. Ooh. This is position number one. Position two. Position three. I know this game. It's not what you think. You're going to hide the ball. You can put it under any one of the cups. You can even move the cups around. I'll turn my back. But in the end, I'll be able to tell you where the ball is. How can you uh -huh. do that? We'll see. That's the only thing line. is, you have to tell me what positions you're swapping. For example, you can say one and two, if you are switching one and two. But I can put the ball anywhere. Yep. Ready to try it? I'll turn my back. Is this a math thing? I really hope it's not a math All thing. All right. I hit the ball. Hide the ball bearing and then swap cups. On the first swap, switch the cups that do not have the ball silently. <laughs> After that, ball. you can switch Wait. any two cups, but you have to tell me which numbers you're swapping. I swap one and three. I swap one and three. I swap one and three. I swap two and three. I swap one and two. I swap two and three. And this one? Oh. Uh, huh. Guess I was wrong. What yeah. kind of trick is that? Never mind. Sorry. If you remember how it goes, let me know. Wait, I don't know what to do. I should probably have looked at the instructions. <laughs> Let's look at the magic book again. Uh, here we go. Wow. Uh, it's the last page. Can I just... Is that a button that automatically takes me to the last page? That would be amazing. Okay. Uh, this makes for an excellent pop tr uh, trick. Except your audience... Expect your audience to run off and try to win a fortune from some gullible soul. Um, styrofoam cups works best for this trick. Place three cups inside upside down as you do. Mark one of them by denting it with the fingernail. Ah, oh, I saw that one. Yeah, okay. Uh, explain to your audience that the cup positions are called one, two, and three from left to right. Turn your back and ask a volunteer to hide the ball under one of the cups. Ask him or her to silently swap the two empty cups to make things even more difficult for you. Then ask them to move the cups around as much as they like. The only rule is, from this point on, they must call out the cups they are swapping. When they let you know that they're done, you turn your back and reveal the ball. The trick, keep track of the position of the marked cup. When you, tu when you, when you turn back, there are two possibilities. If the marked cup is in a position you thought it would be, then it wasn't moved. When the volunteer silently switched the empty cups, when they sw switch the empty cups, so the ball is under the marked cup. If another cup is in this position, then this cup uh, and the marked one will be switched in the first silent swap. The ball is neither at this position nor under the marked cup. So you choose the remaining third cup. 
That is confusing. I'm sorry, but that is a little bit confusing. Let's try it again. Want to see that trick again? Okay, so the mark cup is here. Yeah, all right. Position one. Position two. Position three. Turn around. Okay. Hide the ball bearing and. Yeah, we we know that part. I swap two and three. I swap one and three. I swap one and three. I swap two and three. I swap one and three. I swap one and two. Okay, so this one moved. I have no idea. I'm not good at these things. I'm gonna guess. Wait, that's not the ball. There it is. Wait, I thought it was a ball. How did you okay. do that? I'm magic. Luck. It was for luck, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You have to tell me how to do it. I could earn a fortune down at the pub. Hmm. Giving up my secrets? That will cost you. What do you want? Uh, close your eyes and count to 100. Get me coffee downstairs. You could go downstairs and get me a cup of coffee. Is that all? Well, I can do that. I'll uh -huh. be back. Don't go anywhere. Who, me? So let's uh, flip the switch. Yeah! I'm tricky. Let's flip this. There. That should let me into the grad wing without the alarm ringing. Alright. So let's do it. They'll probably be pissed that we're gone, but who gives a shit? Ah, new area. Oh, this is exciting. Huh. Hello, dude. Oh, hi, Malik. Oh, it's Malik. I was just <laughs> coming to see you. Hi, Sam. It's not a good time. Why What's not? wrong? Nothing. I was just fired. Oh, I'm sorry. But you probably don't need the money, right? Of course I need the money. My parents have six other kids to feed and educate. I try to take as little from them as possible. I don't know what I'll do now. I'll have to find another job. Sorry. Uh-oh. It's our fault. I hated working for that guy. So why did you sign up for the experiment with Styles? I'm a huge fan. Styles is why I came to Oxford. Then he quit teaching before I got a chance to take a single class with him. Why doesn't he teach anymore? From what I've seen, he wasn't physically disabled by the accident. And he's sane enough, I think. He's reachable. He just needs to be pulled out of himself. And for people to quit screwing with his head. Look, I have to go. See you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah, it was definitely our fault that he got fired. Probably. I don't know. Let's see what we have here. So, one of these rooms is Malik's. I don't know the person who lives in there. Oh, okay. Wait. Angela? Oh, it's Angela's room. Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, girl. I mean, she's... Oh, hi. Is this Angela Mulholland's room? It says I'm her roommate, Kelly. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm Sam. Angela is not here. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, her sweater? Angela's friends, goodbye roommate, her sweater. That's a gorgeous sweater you got on. <laughs> oh, thank you. Really? It's my favorite, actually. My mother made it. You're kidding. No, she's quite good. I can't eat a thing myself. Me neither. That's amazing. Thank you. Angela's friends? Does Angela have a lot of friends? Oh, not that I know. I think you're the first one I've ever met. She doesn't talk about a friend of hers who's really into magic? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Roommates? Do all graduate students have roommates? It depends what you sign up for. I just transferred here. I thought it would be a good way to get to know people. Huh. Rooming with Angela. So, how do you like rooming with Angela? Fine, 
Yeah, it's been fine. I'll probably get a room by myself next term. I think it's harder to adjust to living with a stranger when you're more mature. Okay. Let's uh, look around. Can I look at anything? Yeah, I can. Desk. <laughs> Just to uh, look at everything while Kelly's can't here. can't poke around while Kelly's in the room. That's true. So much pink everywhere. <laughs> I don't get how Kelly stands this. Photo of Angela's father. I can't poke around while no. Kelly's in the room. A carpet with an angel. I know Angela seems shy and fits perfectly to the dreamy girly type, but this goes way beyond what I thought. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> actually, I know Angela. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think I'm gonna end here. And uh, today's, I don't know how long the videos have been, but they've probably been a little bit shorter than usual. But like I said, I have not really slept much. Um, but yeah, we got we got some progress done. Stop looking at your hands. Uh, we got some progress done. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next Saturday for more Grey Matter. Bye.